Hi, this is Scoggin, and it's time for a story time with Scoggin. Uh, poured myself an ice cold Lone Star, uh, got it in the glass, uh, got my buddy uh, Forky here, and i uh, going to start with a story. Uh, this story is called That Darn Cat, and it happened like a couple weeks ago, and it's kind of a funny story, and I wanted to share it with you because it's... Uh, uh, really uh, quite funny. Uh, my neighbor next door was going out of town. So he came by the house and he gave me the key to his uh, house and he told me, he says, uh, that uh, cat of ours, that one that looks like a tiger, uh, he's got a cat what kind of resembles a tiger. Uh, kind of looks like one. He said, uh, we can't find it. It ran off somewhere, but... Uh, Whenever, whenever he comes back home, uh, would you mind putting him in the house for us? And I told him, I said, no, that would be fine. And he said, we're going to be gone uh, for the weekend, and we'll be back on Monday. And I said, okay. I said, I'll keep an eye out on him, uh, for him, uh, for the cat. And uh, whenever I find him, I'll just go ahead and uh, do that for you. And uh, this cat, I know the cat, uh, which, which he has because the cat uh, will lay on my firebox on my big uh, grill on uh, the big grill uh, barbecue smoker grill uh, the one on wheels it will lay on the uh, flat top flat part of the uh, firebox and just lay there and sleep I went out several times and it's just been out there uh, sleeping and it sometimes it'll stay half the day over there uh, I don't care. It's uh, not going to hurt anything. And I told him, I said, I, I know the uh, cat you're talking about. And so I said, I'll do that whenever I find it. So uh, I told uh, Mrs. Scoggins about it. And I said, you know that cat up there? He said, oh, yeah, I know that cat, the one that looks like a tiger. I said, yeah. I said, uh, he just wants us to put it in the house for him whenever uh, the cat comes back. He couldn't find it went out of town. She said, okay, we'll do that. So we looked around, uh, like went outside and looked and didn't see the cat nowhere. And that was, uh, um, they left on a Friday, coming back on a Monday, so this was Friday night. Uh, went around, walked around their house, uh, uh, looking for it, didn't find it. And also was looking to make sure no one was breaking in. Uh, but anyway, uh, it comes Saturday, and uh, we was outside, me and Mrs. Scoggin, and walked around the house a little bit, you know, and everything, didn't find it, didn't see it. I wasn't out on my barbecue uh, smoker, and didn't find it. And come Sunday, uh, uh, Mrs. Scoggin went to play some bingo at the bingo hall, and she came home. And she told me, she says, uh, you know, I think I have some bad news. And I said, what's the bad news? And she said, you know, they're a cat, a uh, neighbor's cat. And I said, yeah. She said, I saw one just like it laying in the street and it got ran over. And I said, oh, no. I said, so are you sure it was it? It said, uh, she, uh, Mrs. Coggin said it looked just like it. And I said, well, maybe that explains why it wasn't around the house or anything or why it wasn't laying uh, on my barbecue smoker. Maybe it got ran over like uh, on Saturday or something. And she said, yeah. She said, how are we going to tell them? And I told, told her, I said, well, we got to tell them. I mean, uh, you know, we, we got to tell them about it. And she said, yeah, but, you know, his wife is sick. And uh, the cat is like what kind of keeps her going. And I said, I know, I know. And we know these neighbors for, uh, shoot, we moved in here. It's been over 23 years. And they were here before we were. And we got to them. They were good people, really good people. Uh, and I told them, I said, well, we got to tell them. So uh, they come back on a Monday. And we went over there, uh, me and Mrs. Scoggett. And I told him, I said, uh, you want to go ahead and tell them and, and, or you want me to? She said, well, 
I guess I'm going to have to break the news to him somehow due to the fact that I was one what seen the cat and it was ran over by a car. So we went over there and got over there and uh, asked them how their trip was went. They said it went good. Everything was good. Uh, they had a good time and everything. And then Mrs. Coggett said, uh, I've got something I need to tell, tell y'all. And she said, uh, you know the cat, uh, what you have, the cat, what well, looks like kind of like a tiger. And I think that's, that's the name of the uh, cat, is, they called it tiger. She said, I think it, uh, it's dead because I, it was laying in the street, someone ran over it. And they just looked at, at us kind of puzzled and shocked. And his wife says, I don't think that was the cat. Why? And I, Mrs. Scoggin says, why? Uh, why don't you think it's the cat? She said, because the cat's right here. And she called the cat, and the cat come running up to her. So the cat didn't get run over. And uh, everything was good. It was a happy story. Uh, sad that another cat got ran over. But it was a funny, kind of funny story, too, because Mrs. Coggett looked at the cat, then looked at me, and she said, why, that darn cat, and that's where, I, uh, where I'm going to end this story, but it's just kind of funny how uh, uh, we thought it got ran over when it didn't, so it was a happy ending after all. And uh, sometimes, you know, things, uh, it's not what they seem, but want to share this story with you and I uh, hope you enjoy it. It just, uh, uh, like I say, it's just a funny little story uh, what's uh, happened and uh, I'm glad everything worked out. This is Coggett. I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there and uh, I'll have more story times coming and y'all take care. <laughs>